Hi, my name is Dr. Marcus Fry. I'm a private dentist in Maidstone in Kent in the United Kingdom. Welcome to my channel. What I'd like to talk today is um, occasionally patients come to see me and they say, my teeth keep breaking. You know, I get them fixed and they break and I get them fixed and they break. And that's a very distressing situation. So if you have that problem, here might be the solution. I think the first thing to do is you do need to go back to the dentist. It would be unwise to accept a broken tooth, okay? So it's one of those things you just have to do, go back. But what can often be happening is that the tooth is being filled and should be capped. So let me explain. Basically filling material, that which is packed into the tooth, one visit technique, okay? That can only really build up about two thirds of the tooth, max. So if more than two thirds of the tooth is missing, then the filling material isn't going to work. And you might wonder why that is. Well, here's the truth of it. All of the fillings shrink very slightly when they set. They shrink by somewhere between one to 4% volume. So if you've got a big one, one to 4% of that matters. If you've got a small one, one to 4% of that doesn't really matter. Okay, we get away with that. So if you've got a big one, one to 4% means that it shrinks, it leaks, it falls out. The other thing is that filling material needs to be between two big bits of tooth. It doesn't work very well when it's filling up the whole side of a tooth. So what we need to do when that happens is the tooth needs to be prepared uh, by drilling and then it needs to be scanned or a mold is taken using a special silicon rubber. And then a brand new enamel piecing piece is made from uh, a porcelain or from metal and then is glued down over the top and that holds everything together by virtue of the security of the cap or sometimes we call it a crown. So you can't sort of get away with fillings anymore, okay? You've got to graduate on to having crowns. So the other reason why things can keep breaking is because fundamentally you grind your teeth a lot in your sleep and it's not your fault, but it's not the dentist's fault either. We call it bruxism, which is a very fancy word for grinding at night. And what you need is you need your teeth restored with caps but you also need to have a bite guard made. The bite guard you put in at night, and then when you're grinding, grinding and crunching on your teeth in your sleep, you're not breaking up your teeth. So either those two solutions may well work for you, and, and it may even be, unfortunately, that a tooth that's really badly broken uh, can't be uh, restored with a capping, and you may unfortunately have to lose the tooth, but it could be replaced with a dental implant. See one of my other videos about dental implants. So there is a way, don't give up, go to your dentist, get it sorted, and then things will be happy and you'll have a confident smile for life. Hope that's been helpful. If you'd like to uh, share or subscribe, please do so. Uh, if you want to ring the bell to get notification of future video releases, please do so. Thanks very much, stay safe, see you soon, bye bye.